Hello guys and welcome to another of my videos. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to do DIY white wall tires. Uh, I will be going with tire coating from Mr. White Walls. It is. It has been tested by by my mates. Uh, they say it's good. I've read the reviews. They were good. Uh, so there's no reason why not to do it as well. Uh, I'll be definitely going and doing it the hard way. Um, the tires have about 2,000, something over 2,000 on them. It is not recommended to put uh, the white wall paint uh, if it's less than uh, 3,000. At least that's what it says on the tin. Uh, not too fast. We'll see how it goes. Uh, the problem with the application is due to the uh, release agent in the new tires uh, that's being put on them basically to take them off the out of the mold in the factory and that's so you can easily you can easily see it on the brand new tires as they start to break in the, the area that has already been broken in it's much much uh, it's not as shiny it's matte and it actually it's not as slippery well you can't actually break in the sides can you uh, <laughs> um, but uh, I got even cobras, and uh, they have sort of like a snakeskin pattern on it, plus some uh, some text, cobra logo, and uh, in between, well, plus well, everything is really slippery. So there's absolutely no way you could possibly um, uh, create a key even key for the paint on that kind of surface so as may possibly you can see here like I said I'm doing it the hard way I've already started I'm sanding the whole thing down to a really smooth flat surface and uh, comparing those two surfaces already that's slippery and that catches the glove that'll be an ideal ideal key for the uh, for the paint um, besides smooth wall tires look very nice uh, it's going to be a long and painful process. Uh, I'm expecting to spend quite a few hours just just doing the sanding. Of course, I'm not going to sand by hand. I'm using my trusty Dremel with the, uh, the sanding block. That after doing that bit over here, it not, does not seem to deteriorate at all. I mean that the uh, the tire is soft enough compound soft enough to uh, to allow you to strip off the, uh, the texture and to roughen it up without actually using up any of the uh, of the sanding paper I mean, that means that that tiny thing should last me uh, for the length of the whole project I hope unless it breaks apart which sometimes it before uh, well yeah that's that's uh, that's a short intro um, I think that's the only thing I'll do uh, at this stage when I have the, uh, well no sorry, the white walls, that's the first thing that I'm going to do. The next video will be uh, wheel balancing as well, so stay tuned for that. It might take me a while to actually finish up the, the tire before I actually do the balancing, but uh, for you it's, the video is just a click away when it appears. Uh, so yeah, let's just cracking. Uh, I'm just going to show a very brief moment while, when I'm sanding and then the video will just jump to uh, when it's all done and finished. Uh, I have three days rest and, and, and we'll go to uh, degreasing, uh, cleaning, degreasing and, uh, and painting. So uh, let's get cracking as usual. Alright guys, uh, just one more thing, burning rubber stinks and if you're stuck for it for a long time it certainly ain't good uh, for your lungs, so uh, do protect yourself.
just to prove the point. You don't want any of that in your lungs. Just stay safe, guys. Have fun. Do it wisely. I'm talking like an old bloke now. An hour later, it's going quite all right actually. I think it's going numb a little bit, but uh, not that much. That means that the whole tire, one side, will take an hour, hour, hour and a half maybe. And I'm uh, discovering that the underneath all the texture, the uh, tire has a nice two tone as well. <laughs> so uh, just need to make sure that will not show through the paint. So I'm going to be triple coating it, so it should be fine, but it's a brilliant smooth surface. The cover I just went as well. <laughs> so uh, I was toying with the idea of actually taking a smaller, smaller diameter tools and just going all around the, uh, all around the, uh, text and the actual Cobra logo, but I just can't be asked to be honest. So uh, let's crack on. Alright guys, here we go. That was uh, I think a good hour and a half, two hours or something like that, just to do one side. <laughs> Ridiculous. Stinks like hell. I mean, uh, it's like being stuck on a drifting track for two hours, just inhaling everything, just getting smacked on your face with with the with the tire dust. But just look at that. That's brilliant. I mean, to compare, that's how it was. Texture all over it. I'm not sure whether you can see it. That's how it is now. So all that is gonna be beautiful white white wall top, white wall over here, and uh, and I think that's it for today. We'll catch up. Well, in a second, it'll be the second day. I'll be doing the other side, and once I'm done, I'll be just going over everything. Probably with with some sort of a sandpaper, and uh, just to even out some of the stuff I, I see already, uh, just to make sure that the surface is perfect. Because once you paint it in paint it in white, everything will show. Um, well, I've got four days to do that, so I'm, uh, I'm quite comfortable at the moment that I'll actually manage. There's a nice bike show on the on the Sunday. I've really participated with the brand new my wall. So uh, it should be fun. Alright, in a few seconds, the other side, very briefly, because it's boring just to watch that and uh, and we'll hop on to the uh, to the paint to the uh, surface prep and the actual painting. And just to show you guys all of that. That's just one side. Alright, welcome back. It is day two of the project and uh, I have actually finished off uh, uh, grinding down the uh, texture on my on my uh, on my tire. Um, it's looking well. Uh, so the uh, I have I have washed it after the grinding, of course, to just get rid of all the uh, all the uh, all the dust and rubber particles. And uh, afterwards, I've uh, I've also uh, uh, cleaned it with the uh, uh, with just white spirit to degrease it. If there was anything on it, uh, just wanted to wipe it off. And 
Now we'll be progressing with the paint. Uh, like I said, I'll be using the, the white coating from Mr. White Walls. And uh, to for the application, I'll be using a uh, sponge brush because it has a really nice fine tip. I'll be going, I'll be, I'll be doing it without masking, so I'll be relying just on my steady hand. And uh, the, uh, the foam brush should prove much, much better in terms of the porous soft surfaces like these, in terms of coverage. So, uh, I mean, I'm testing, I've never done it before, but it is uh, my belief that that will work really well on that kind of surface. Um, so let's, let's, let's start and see what happens. Oh, welcome back. Uh, this is a very quick, quick last part of the video. Uh, I've skipped the head, and what I've done, I've actually painted all three, all three coats. I've added all three coats now. Uh, I've let it, I've let it dry for. I think it's uh, it was about twelve hours now, so another twelve to fully cure. It cures in twenty four hours, um, and looks brilliant. Uh, all the all the effort has paid off, and uh, I've also uh, I was wondering about how to seal it up because effectively what what you're looking at is the uh, is a rubberized paint that we based on the feedback we already know that it, it does discolor to uh, to some extent depending on the uh, on the environment and the uh, the uh, the age of the tire as well. Um, but I actually have got in touch with Mr. White Walls himself, and I've asked the uh, the question, and the surprise, surprise, the uh, the answer was that he, while he's mass producing White Walls to a very good, uh, very good quality, um, he never actually uses anything to seal them up, no UV protection, nothing. So uh, I was quite surprised to hear that. But then again, it actually reassured me as well that I don't have to. Uh, I don't have to try to use different products and see whether they work or not. Um, so the last thing for me to do on this one is just chuck it on the wheel balancer, balance it out. Uh, not because of the uh, because I painted it, but because I ground some some texture down from the tire. Well, I guess the paint adds adds a little bit of weight to it as well. Um, so I'll just I'll just I'll just check. Uh, a video of which you'll be able to see soon. I'll be posting that online as well. How to uh, how to balance the wheel, and um, and because we have a glorious weather, I'm hoping to chuck it back on the on the bike and go out finally. <laughs> so we, thank you very much for bearing with me. This was uh, I've, I hopefully I've edit, edited the video to make it not too long. Uh, he wants to see me painting and grinding for several hours. And um, I, hope, I hope you enjoyed it. It's a, it's a relatively cheapish alternative to buying a brand new uh, white wall tire, and it's definitely a very good option for you if you have a tire that you got fed up with the black one and uh, it still has plenty of life in it. So um, uh, that's it, really. Thank you very much again for watching, and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Uh, you'll get instant notifications when something pops up. Thank you very much and ride safe.